y'all know what? I know relationships can be tough, but you got to think positive. You have to like be stubbornly positive and you have to keep your heart chakra open. If your heart chakra is not open, you will never find love. I mean, think about it. How are you going to find love if your heart is closed? That don't make no damn sense. But here's what I truly believe. I believe, ladies, that when a man truly, truly falls in love with a woman, the right woman, not some treacherous beast, you know, some troglodyte swamp rat piece of trash. I mean a real woman, a woman who loves him unconditionally, has his back, would burn and scorch earth to get to his ass to help him like that kind of love like agape love like she's just like I don't fuck around about my dude kind of love I feel like when he finds that and he's mature enough to accept it and know what it is I feel like his his apparatus no longer works for other for other cooch I don't I, I feel like you know, he's like, I have, I have the queen's puss. I have the queen's puss. I don't want any more peasant pussy. Peasant pussy. I don't want peasant pussy. I have the queen's pussy. She's a goddess. She's the empress of my penis. Don't touch me, whore. That's how I feel like he feels. At least that's how I want him to feel. <laughs> that's how I want a man to feel. I feel like a man should feel that way. I know you agree, ladies. I know you do. Because we all want that. Because that's how guys want us to act. They want us to be like, I have the best man in the world. He buys me flowers. He opens the door. He pulls out my chair. He rubs my feet. He makes my tea at high noon. He takes very, very good care of me. And here's the thing. We want so badly to be able to say that about you fuckers we do we want to be able to brag about you and be like look what my baby did look what my man did and oh you see it all over fucking instagram i don't really see it as much on tiktok but bitches be happy And I'm happy for them because I'm happy for anybody that can find love and can find a guy to treat them well because I believe that all women deserve that. Not just black women, but all women. You know, all good women, put it that way. Not all women. Like I said, y'all need to leave them treacherous beasts alone. Y'all be falling in love and flipping over backward thinking you're in love, but you really just be like in lust over somebody who ignores you and fucks you good and if that's the kind of tumultuous bullshit you want to be in go for it go for the low-hanging fruit because it's gonna be a headache i promise you it's gonna be a headache and you older dudes y'all be going through your little change you know y'all be on your little male period you be on your myriad and y'all go through this phase where you just want to fuck young bitches you just want to fuck young chicks let me tell you Fellas, no matter how many young chicks, coochies you beat up, you are still fucking old. Okay? You still old. Sit your ass down somewhere, nigga, and grow up. And and accept where you are. And quit trying to be something you're not. Because most of y'all really can't even handle that life. Because you dating a treacherous beast. Most of these young girls are up to no good they up to no good and and unless you got money and fame and clout and fortune and favor and all this and that you gonna get played eventually because she ain't gonna want to be bothered with your old ass for too long now there are some exceptions there are some girls with daddy issues who want older men to be their husband because For the same reason, though, they want the love and attention they did not get, and they want to be taken care of. And a lot of young girls are hip to the fact that older dudes are gullible as fuck. Yes, y'all are. I'm going to go. Oh, what? Look, look, listen. If you don't like what I'm saying, please go back and look at the, um, the picture for this season. This is season 13. 
It's 13. Come on. I'm bringing it. I said on the flyer, no holding back. I'm going to show y'all exactly (laughs) who I am. (laughs) And it's my funny side. That's all. It's just fair warning. It's going to get crazy. In a fun way. Anywho. Where else are y'all? Oh. You still old. You still old, bruh. You still old. Now... Let me hip y'all to what's really going to make you feel young. And I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say this to set nothing up. I'm being honest. This is what I truly believe. I truly believe that you only feel young when you have real love in your life. A true love. Someone who truly loves you for you is the only time when you can really show up for yourself and feel like your fucking self and feel like... I can be myself. I can be myself. If I'm corny, I can be corny. If I'm cool, I can be cool. If I'm a nerd, I can be a nerd. If I'm, you know, whatever it is you are, when you find the right person, you should feel right at home. And who doesn't feel happy and young when they're happy? (laughs) When you're happy, you're you're happy you feel young right to me the two go hand in hand which is one of the reasons why I feel young all the time I don't feel like I'm anywhere near my numeric age in you know in man's terms I don't I do not feel that way when I look at myself I see a young vibrant (laughs) I sound like a fucking commercial for for uh, some the trellis when you need to feel young <laughs> that's a commercial y'all that's a real product i'm joking it's not a product but it did sound like a commercial though i don't know how them damn commercials sound but anyway y'all for real fellas get it together i'm trying here i'm trying to help y'all i know like of my listeners are male for a reason. Y'all are learning something. I know you are. You have to. Because you can't listen to me and not learn. You're going to learn and laugh. Ooh. That's a good title for a show. A laugh and learn. (laughs) It sounds... It don't sound boring, does it? I don't think so. I don't think so, y'all. But, um... Fellas, for real, I need y'all to hit me up. If you want to take a communication course with me, like, you know, to help you learn to communicate with your woman or, you know, a woman better. Okay. I am an ex, I won't say expert, but I say I'm an excellent communicator. I am. You know why? Because I've done a ton of self-work. And the, the more you know yourself, the more you, the better you know others. And the better you know other people, the better you're able to communicate with them. And you're able to figure them out and reason with them. Like, I have learned that you really got to hear people out. You got to hear people's reasons for why they do things. You can't just throw people in the trash because they didn't do something you like. You know what I'm saying? Because people have issues they have their own shit that they're dealing with and if you can't take the time to step outside of yourself and allow other people to fuck up in your life and try to move past it now now don't get me wrong because you're gonna hear some other podcasts where i tell y'all i don't fuck around i don't but i do have a forgiving nature and an easygoing spirit when i know what the situation is okay like if someone comes to me and they talk to me about okay like you know what that was messed up but this is what happened blah 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 I apologize okay cool I can forgive you I might not want to talk to you anymore I might not want to deal with you or be around you and I may never pick up the phone and call you or text you again however I can forgive I can because it's just the right thing to do and it's healthier for you like I don't what I want to do sit around uh lamenting over you know 
anything negative that you've done to me. Like, I don't have that kind of time. And right now, energetically speaking, that's just not the move. It is not the move to allow yourself to sit in any kind of, to sit and wallow in any kind of self-pity. And I'm talking, you know, you might be like, I mean, I'm sad. I'm not, it's not self-pity. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because sadness is a choice. Unhappiness is a choice. Anger is a choice. Every fucking thing is a choice. You can, and I know it's easier said than done. Trust. I get that. It takes some work. It does. It takes some work to actually get there where you're not, you know, easily being affected by the BS around you. But, you know, just like anything else, with practice, you can get there. Um, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. You know, some shit still gets to me, and I just be like, Whoa! you know. But, for the most part, I'm there. Where I'm just like, okay, I'm going to let this go. Because if I don't, somebody's going to lose their head. <clears throat> For real. And it ain't going to be me. It ain't going to be me. That's from that line. Um, it used to be my favorite movie. I got another favorite movie now, but I forgot it. Isn't that crazy? How I forget? I swear, y'all. I t- y'all got to listen to one of that, that, my other episodes. I think it might have been yesterday's where I said, I have adult ADD now. I do. It's just information overload. No, it might not have been yesterday's, but it was somewhere within the last 30 days. I, you know, a lot of adults have have developed adult ADD because it's too much fucking information. I mean, think about all the shit that we've learned. You know, we have had so much crammed inside of our brains and not a lot to actually help us. You know what I'm saying? Because... You know, we got a crooked ass government. You got crooked ass uh, corporations who don't care about the shit they're putting in our food. So they don't care that they're messing up our, our thought process or, or you know, our spine, <laughs> our spleen, our kidneys. Like, we talking about organs now all of a sudden that we didn't even realize we had. This is just how dumb, you know, they want us to be. And then it's like, without the internet... We never would have known. Because how would... Think about it. Think about before the internet. You didn't think about other body parts. You didn't even think about your body parts. You washed yourself and you washed your body parts on the outside. But you did not think twice about how your spleen worked. Or what made your kidneys work. Or the fact that gas means your... your, your What is it? Your liver or your kidneys is being overworked. Everybody's... You know, I grew up with this with the lie that gas was a compliment like to the food you know y'all don't remember that they used to say that and all along <laughs> this shit's been destroying or like overworking our kidneys or our liver like i can't remember which one it is but y'all look it up i told you i have adult add so <laughs> you can't expect me to remember everything But seriously, it's one of those organs that, you know, is not, well, I won't say it's not working properly. It's just working too hard. That's where gas is. So anyway, y'all, that's enough of that. (laughs) But thanks for tuning in to the Boxing Stella podcast. And for those of you who are new, because I picked up a whole new group of listeners, I see my numbers are growing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever you are, wherever you are, thank you so much for listening and tuning in. Just know that this is an odd cast, okay? This is different. This is not like any other podcast. That's why you don't see me. Um, I'm going to incorporate video, but I got to buy the equipment. Um, So if anybody wants to donate equipment to me, hey, holla at me. Let me know. And you can be a sponsor for the show. Whatever you got going on, I'll talk about it every show. But, um... This podcast is different in that this is me practicing my stand-up. Um, you're, you guys are joining me on my journey to, to hit the stage. I've done stand-up comedy now twice, and I need to go do it some more. 
but I'm a very strategic and um, huh, this is going to sound so weird coming out of my mouth and I'm being very patient. <laughs> I, y'all, I am not the most patient person, especially when it comes to stuff that I want. However, I have learned um, since writing my book, which is sponsor, sponsors this show, Life in Question book on Amazon. In writing that book, I learned that I don't have to be in such a hurry to, to put stuff out because like I get excited about stuff and I'm like, oh, I want it. I want it now. I want to put it out there now. You know, blah, blah. I got to hurry up and get it out. So I'm, I'm chill now and I'm going to put things out and I'm going to get things done in the time that, you know, I feel is, is best for me for what it is that I'm trying to do, you know, and just have faith. So anyway, that's enough. This is long enough. I try to stay under 20 minutes with uh, most of my episodes. So again, thank you for joining me on my comedic journey to the stage. Go back and listen to the intro and I talk a little bit more about this. Go visit me online at Amazon because right now my website is down. I've got to do some stuff and fix it and um, add some stuff to it. So it's under construction, but um it's on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kindle, Gumroad is the PDF. If you want to be cheap, you can download the book for $7. And it, it's an easy read. It's just questions. It's a book of questions. It's going to help you get to know yourself and others better while having fun. All right, y'all. Deuces!